G'day friends! Welcome to Tag Tuesday. Uh, this is about the 700th time I've done this voiceover because honestly, uh, I just don't know where to go. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I don't know. If you watched my Insta story yesterday, you kind of uh, got the gist that I wasn't too happy with how these tags turned out. That's not to say that these are the worst tags ever. That's not to say that what happened was a mess and that, you know, it was unsalvageable and from the beginning it was doomed. No. I definitely put in a lot of hard work and effort. I was just using things that I wasn't familiar with. I wasn't, you know, I got all my Jane Davenport stuff out and I thought, let me try and use the elements that I don't regularly use. So uh, matte medium and those uh, printed serviettes, like the, the collage papers, uh, I was just giving it a really good go with that. Um, just, you know, trying to figure out if I could, you know, fall in love with how they work and try and teach myself something about layers in mixed media because I don't usually build up a lot of um, texture in mixed media pages. Uh, but, you know, just wanting to give that a go because I like what I see on Instagram and I, I feel like a lot of people are into this uh, and I just haven't really experimented with it. And, um, you know, Tag Tuesday for me has become a bit of a, an experimental, a little like free playtime, learn something, you know, do something you love doing ages ago but haven't done for a while. Just work on these little tiny cards, these tags. Oliver, please stop. It's like playing in the bin being such a nuisance. Um, just working on these small in this small format uh, gives me a lot of opportunity to play quickly and, uh, and to see uh, what's working and what's not relatively easily without having to commit it to a journal. Because if there's something that I'm not happy with in a journal, it really does uh, deter me from picking up that journal. Uh, so as, if it's on a tag, you know, I don't have to put it in there and if I do really enjoy it, I can just um, stick it in the journal and then it, it'll be in there and inspiring me and happy. So yeah, I just, I don't know. I did have an idea for the Tag Tuesday. I wanted to do this first of all. I wanted to play with all this stuff. I wanted to, you know, get it all out and play with it. And then after that, a few days later, I thought, you know what, I want to do a different idea instead. But I thought I'd already committed to this. Uh, you know, I've, I've already got all this stuff out. I, um, it's because I'd just done a Davin Party project. So I was like, you know what, I, I'll do it now. It'll be fine. I can do my other idea later. And uh, I think because I forced myself to sit down and do it, I, I think uh, you know, you, sometimes you can't force that stuff out. I do believe that you should always go for it. I don't think you should wait for inspiration to hit, but I think if you've got a different idea that you're more kind of taken with, you should probably just let that, uh, you know, let that develop. Just run along with that. Run along with wherever your passion is, uh, first and foremost. And my, to be honest, you know, I, while I wanted to do this and I, I had plans to do it, I just really wanted to do the other Tag Tuesday that I had in my head. So uh, I hit a bunch of brick walls creatively in this process and, uh, you know, that tag there with the three ladies on it up the top, that's the only one that I'm kind of into because it has a, you know, an accidental like story that developed about it. And it was, uh, it just reminded me of the three powerful women that uh, raised me, my grand, my aunt, and my mother. So I did a bit of journaling on the background about that and my uh, my glorious childhood. Um, so I do enjoy that tag. That's probably the only one. I got to the end of this and I said, Steve, I cannot believe what I've done. I've made kind of a mess. I'm not really happy with it. It's not the end of the world. I was like, they're not the worst tags in the world, but I'm just not really happy with them. I don't like them. And, uh, and he said, you know, make a few more. If you if you feel like you're getting the, the hang of it and you're getting into the groove, then redo all of Tag Tuesday. And I've, I've definitely done, I've redone two Tag Tuesdays before. And that wasn't because they were awful, it was just because I, uh, I started them and I just didn't like the first couple of tags, so I just redid them. Um, but this is the first time that I, I've been, you know, kind of disappointed in all of them, except for one. And, um... Yeah, and I, I, I tried to restart, and I tried to do another two, and I just wasn't getting there. You know, I did a mermaid, uh, which I thought was a bit of a failsafe, because I've never really not had a good time making a mermaid. But uh, I tried to draw it in negative, like with a white gel pen, and it just wasn't working or popping the way I thought it would. So that just irritated me. And then, uh, you know, I didn't know how to save it. I kept put adding more stuff, but it just wasn't, it just wasn't popping. It wasn't reading how I thought it would. You can tell how frustrated I am just looking at myself doing it. Um, and then I, I did another one that kind of reminded me of like the Cowardly Lion if she came to life and she was beautiful and you know I just used a Jane face stamp but um, I did lettering on it afterwards and the lettering was just so awful. Like it was just ugly. Uh, so then that made me hate that tag. <laughs> I mean I shouldn't say hate, it just made me not enjoy it. I just, you know, it's, it's not for me. It's not, it's not my aesthetic, it's not my, uh, I would say it was my style but you know it's uh 
it just wasn't refined enough for me to enjoy. So I guess the moral of the story is I'm learning. I'm still learning. Absolutely. I wanted to be open and transparent and honest with you all. There are so many things that I'm still getting into and still haven't even discovered yet, discovered a love for, discovered a passion for, haven't refined the skill doing it. You know, uh, there's still a lot that I'm learning. So I wanted to just be open and share that with you all. Um, I, I think sometimes people don't think that I struggle through this stuff and uh, totally I, I feel you guys when I totally empathize when you say like I just can't get it to do what I want or I'm just not like super proud of it because we want to be proud of what we're doing we want to be happy with it when we look at it so uh, just know that that's a totally normal process that happens to everybody um, don't wait for the inspiration to strike you know keep pushing through it start something else get a new piece of paper get a new tag and uh, maybe just wait a day so uh, I'll show you all the close-ups. Let me know if there are some you like, and uh, if not, then uh, we'll all be in the same boat together. <laughs> okay, bye.